Game Star. Hey dudes and dudettes, this is part 3 of my OBS tutorials on making an awesome stream. Today we are going to cover how we can create these awesome clouds around us. I already made all the scripts for you, you can download them in the description below. So without further ado, let's go! Alright, let's get started. I started OBS, of course, using uh, the 32-bit version. Keep in mind, the 64-bit version does not work for this tutorial. Okay, let's get started. First of all, let's click on the preview stream button so we can see what we are doing. There we go. Alright, I want to start to add a global source. Again, I want to add a background. So let's create an, uh, another image. Call it background. You'll find me background. Let's go for our standard background. Select it. Hit OK and let's add it. I have to change the dimensions so I will hit edit scene. Just make a little bit smaller, drag it in the corner. A little bit larger, there we go, perfect. Next thing we are going to do, we're going to add some clouds. First of all, I will show you the realistic clouds. You can download the code in the description down below. So I will go to uh, global sources again, I will add and I will add this time the CLR browser. If you don't have this button, please go back to part two of my tutorials where you can see how you can install the CLR browser plugin. I will give it a name. I will call it Realistic Clouds. There we go. Uh, this time, instead of copy pasting an URL right in here, I will hit the question mark and I will go to my folder where I have my Realistic Clouds. This one also has a moon included. I will double click and I will change the dimensions to the full width of my screen. So that will be 1280 by 720. And I will hit OK and then uh, OK again. Now right click in the source tab, add global sources and realistic clouds and hit OK. And there we have it. We have some awesome realistic clouds now let's say I want me to be in the background of the clouds but in front of the wallpaper. First of all we're going again add a global source. Add and this time we are going to choose my webcam and in order to get my webcam I need the video capture device. I'll call it webcam and then we'll select my Logitech HD Pro webcam and just uh, hit OK and then OK again and I will right click in the sources on add global sources and then on the webcam and hit OK <laughs> OK hi guys I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller it's a little bit too large I like to keep it a little bit smaller oh I'm shrinking where I'm going let's say I want to be here uh, in the corner a little bit this is about right. So I want to uh, move this one down. You can do that in two ways. Either right click on here and click on order and move up or down or use the control up and down. I will just use control down. There we go. And I'm behind the clouds. They are a little bit opaque as you can see. It's pretty nice. I like this. It was a little bit too much cloudy on my head. I can change that if I uh, move this one a little bit down. There we go. Awesome. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Okay, let's say we want to remove the, the stupid moon because I not, never liked the moon. I got this cloud from the internet. It was a part of a tutorial how to create floating clouds in just using CSS tree without any use of, uh, of JavaScript. So let's head over to my folder. I will go to my uh, clouds moon realistic. I'll just uh, edit this HTML, HTML file and I would say okay I don't want the moon so I can just uh, get it out and then reload this uh, part. So I would head down here to the sources and right click on realistic clouds, hit properties and then just hit OK. It will reload and now there shouldn't be any moon and still having these awesome clouds. 
I will switch to another script which I downloaded from the internet and altered it a little bit. So I'll unselect this one first. I will add another global source. Hit the add button and I will go again for the CLR browser. And I will call this uh, cartoon clouds. It's a little bit more cartoonish. I will hit the question mark again. And this time I will browse to the folder. So I will click the index.html and we'll change the width again to my full width and height of my browser and hit OK. And then OK again, right click in the source, add global sources and then cartoon clouds and then hit OK. And there we have our beautiful, beautiful clouds floating over me. Now this one I really like. I love this one. It's a, it's fitting in the whole scheme, and this is this one is also with almost no JavaScript. Actually, it's better to have more JavaScript because I cannot really change much about the clouds, like the amount of them. I need to change a lot in the code actually to uh, change the the size and the 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 amount of clouds that are. However, there is one possibility how you can change the clouds. First of all, what we need to do is go to the script. So I head head over to cartoons. I will open this time site.css. I will change the notepad. Uh, scroll down. Here you can see how far it will uh, move to the left. It's minus 1500. The best value to put in here is the width of your browser screen you want plus around 200, let's say. It's moving like 200 outside of the screen. Let's say we want to make the width of the screen 2000. So I will make two 2200 because I'm adding 200 so it moves out of the screen. We'll go back to my OBS. I will right click on Cartoon Clouds, hit Properties, go to the width. I said I want to have it 2000, hit OK. Now it's going to be a little bit larger, so I'm going to uh, make it a little bit smaller. Let's say it should be fitting right about like this. And there you have it. Now you have a little bit smaller clouds fitting inside this nice background. You can play around with, uh, with the sizes of the clouds and the amount of clouds if you would like to uh, in this CSS file. And also what you need to do if you need extra clouds you go into uh, the index.html and you would add here another cloud and each cloud can be configured using the CSS corresponding maybe in the future I will change this code so it's easier adjustable for the amount of clouds the sizes of the cloud for now you can play around with this I had much fun making this tutorial and there will be for sure a part four in part four I'll be showing you how you can integrate people who are following you and getting like a splash screen on the screen like this dude followed you so you can immediately react to it and integrate with the chat so i will see you next time on my games to hd thank you for watching if you like this video make sure you subscribe share like comment and if you have any questions or suggestions for a tutorial please let me know in the comment section below and maybe i will be covering something you would like to see Till next time.